Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 381. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and this week we have a bit of news, believe it or not. So before we head in, um, I would like to let you guys know that this week has been a w- roller coaster ride of emotions. But anyhow, uh, that's besides the point, and let's head into the news. First news for this week is China pulled several airing from schedule. So the streaming website Youku has pulled planned airing of from the schedule because what uh, it seems that with the way that China is going to air their episode, uh, the season will end on September twenty six, but somehow they pull it out. They they pull all of that out. So um, right now it's all probably going to be a lot of um, what's it called this re recap no not recap um, re airing uh, I forgot the word <gasps> but anywho uh, it seems that China with their early airings are about three episodes ahead. Probably when this episode comes out, it'll be two episodes, but that's besides the point. Um, they have been aggressively showing episodes early, and the latest one that they aired was episode twenty-one. I don't remember what episode that was, or have I seen it or not? But that's besides the point. The point of the matter is, it seems that China and Australia are well. They've removed their early airings and kind of doing reruns. Yes, this is what I'm looking for. Reruns right now. So, um, if things go according to plan, the show will air on Discovery Family and will um, expect it to end around October twelfth to nineteen or or nineteen, depending. And yeah, we will have to wait and see how that goes because it is going to be awesome. It's going to be really awesome because, well, uh, from what I understand, um, this is going to be a bit different from the usual. Uh, it's still going to be twenty six episodes, but the end of the season will, sorry, the, the two part will be on episode twenty four and twenty five instead of twenty five twenty six. The twenty six episode is going to be the epilogue. That's what I read, and I think I reported on that. I don't remember, but anywho, um, with this, it's going to be a bit interesting. Unfortunately, <laughs> it seems that episode twenty-two to twenty-six in English and unreleased scripts are in the wild. Uh, apparently, they got hacked. How did the hackers do this, and why did they want to do this? I got no idea. So, um. <coughs> if you watch your cartoons or any more online, you probably seen it already. I know I have. I'm guilty about it, but trust me. In my current state and situation right now, people are just gonna ask me about my opinion. So I I have to. D- <laughs> I don't like it, but yeah, I won't tell you guys where to go. You you guys are smart. You guys are smart. Plus. I want you guys to enjoy the show as it is. I won't be talking about anything um, that hasn't been aired yet. My lips are sealed. Mm. But for you guys out there, please keep it to yourself for now, and just let people enjoy the show themselves. Because you you want to have that clean slate going in. And you want to be surprised, and well, just respect um, other person's um, views or other person's <coughs> prerogative on how they want to watch it. And yeah, if all possible, don't sh- don't share it for now. I mean, uh, if the episode's out, share it in an official capacity. But beyond that, nah, you sh- you shouldn't. You shouldn't. So that's just a quote unquote PSA from me to you. And next up is well, <laughs> uh, still 
it's rather depressing. I remember way back when in the New York Toy Fair, yeah, we got the kid robot crew doing the My Little Pony dressed to impress figures. And as you can see right now, you have what? This rainbow dash that looks hipster. And that looks awesome. Like, yo, that looks really, really awesome. And over here, you get some figures with what? I think this is baseball cap twilight. That could be Cozy Glow, Rarity, um, Rainbow Dash, probably. And you guys see like Applejack in something here. I'm not 100% sure. Pinkie Pie with something. I, I don't know. So, um, a person um, messaged Kid Robot asking them, what up? And the message goes something like this. Uh, do you have any updates on the series of My Little Pony Dress for Success figures? I saw models and packaging for them at a toy fair but haven't heard anything. And Kid Robot's customer service rep replied with, Unfortunately, the series has been cancelled and won't and will not go into production. We apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused. That sucks. That really, really sucks. I would, I don't mind buying this, yo. This looks really awesome. <coughs> but, uh, well, <coughs> it can't be helped. And, uh, that sucks. But I kind of understand why they did it. And this is my personal hit theory or whatever it is. Uh, conspiracy theory. And... The reason why is that the series is going to end and while the brand of My Little Pony Generation 4 or they don't even say it's Friendship's Magic so it's just My Little Pony. So with My Little Pony the TV series going to end soon it won't make smart business strategy to sell a product that's going to end like they're not doing anything with it or how do I put this <coughs> uh, a lack for a better word is that they're cutting their losses because if the series ending and they sell a toy for a series that's going to end it makes no sense rather than spend th um, millions or tens of thousands on a series that may not sell because the series is ended they just cut their losses and do something else. They're still working with Hasbro in some capacity, I think, because they have their Let's Play figures um, with the Monopoly Man, the Doctor Thingy, and so on. And also, what, Scrabble? Huh, okay. So, I do understand, but I do not like it. Ugh. <sighs> Would love that Rainbow Dash plush, though. And lastly, this week, we have well, the McDonald's toy. Yay! Starlight Glimmer and Spike joins the crew. Woohoo! Um, I'm not 100% sure if this is going to be two a week. I want uh, eh, two a week, probably. You know what? Probably two a week. Huh, okay. <coughs> so, anywho, um, I reported way back when, or last week ago that Europe will be or McDonald's in Europe will be selling pony toys or pony toys in their Happy Meals so right now Switzerland and the Netherlands are confirmed to have them so far not sure about the others as of yet probably there will be some in Spain um, England or Germany or even France who knows so as for now um, that's great that's awesome and Thanks to who name now here is uh, Franklin Frank Frank oh my goodness my name Frankie here um, took some pictures and well they look pretty good so this is Twilight and stuff I mean um, I'm not hundred percent sure how this looks but they're cool Twilight standing on the thing uh, her tail is a brushy. So, yay? 
much awesomeness. Uh, what what does this say here? Like, look at this, guys. Um, a better view, maybe this one. Yeah, take a look. See here, like, yo, you can look at Twilight's wings. <laughs> Oh uh, man, are they disco? I don't know. Crystallized, something, wings. They look funky. I don't know. But still, um, yeah, they look good. They look fun for a Happy Meal toy. I guess they're alright. And you can collect all 8 of them if I remember right. Yeah, the 6 plus 2, so it's 8. So yeah, you can collect all 8 of them. And yeah. So I think what? There's. Oh, there's for weeks and there's t eight toys so there's two toys per week probably that'll be awesome so yeah if you're in the european union or anywhere in the europe that sells the mcdonald's and happy meal toys with the ponies go get them because look at rainbow dash she is posing in an awesome manner and spike here has some kind of teeter totter on him so yeah, this, this is pretty awesome. This is pretty awesome and cool. So yeah, go get them boys. And with that, episode ends or news ends. There's no more news. <coughs> ah, so well, um, let's go to the next topic. And next topic is what have I been doing with my week? So what have I been doing with my week is that mm, besides the playing of the video games and the works and also Magic the Gathering yes, I considered it as a weekly event that I always go to um, nothing much but I did watch a movie and said movie is the Steven Universe movie and wow, it is pretty cool it is an awesome movie by the way like the movie is how do I put this? It's a musical to yeah it is a it is a musical and when I look at it or when I watch it it was really awesome I kind of like it the music is good the uh, <coughs> <coughs> sorry the animation is the same as in the show but a bit better and the voice acting are well the same like if you know steven you are going to enjoy it the story is interesting i have to say it starts out with steven having a perfect life because hey he saved the universe and he has his happy ending then suddenly a uh, what you call this figure from his past came along and ruined it and now it's his mission to kind of fix things and make things right so are there any complaints to the movie i would for me personally i think there this there's this one scene where it raises a lot of questions of how did this character got this item in this span of time because the gap between what happened to when it happened is very confusing it raises a lot of questions so w would i say it's a bad movie no it, it raises a lot of questions if they didn't explain it in a q and a or some kind of official capacity maybe there's a lot of hit canon theory or whatever it is i have my own i won't be talking about it here and now probably we'll do some kind of review probably who knows <coughs> but that's something for the future but overall i do enjoy watching the steven universe movie like you guys who enjoy steven universe should probably go watch it it, it is a lot of fun it is a lot of fun other than that um nothing much on my end um been feeling honestly i have not been feeling pretty good like this week <coughs> <coughs> oh boy um this week or this two or three weeks i've been kind of recovering from a sore throat it's been going on and off and i think what this week i've seen the doctor to try and 
get me better or fix it but yeah, it's, it's working slowly I finished my antibiotics I have some cough medicines left and yeah it's just a cough as you can clearly tell from the whole recording or from this whole episode I've been in a coughing fit so yeah that's not fun other than that um yeah personal issues in life can't can't say much don't don't want to bore you and stuff uh, but still um that's my week i hope next week will be much better and exciting and you know entertaining for you guys i i know you guys want to be entertained but anywho uh with that if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dmbshowgmail.com. You can also catch us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. You can also please, <laughs> sorry. And also please subscribe and read us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date, and also Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. We, yes, we have a Facebook page. You can also catch us on ponyvalive.com. Yay, much awesomeness. Links will be in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Sapphire Heart Song, and also Torterra reviewing Pony episodes, comics, specials, and also movies. Sometimes we like to divert from watching the ponies to doing anime and comic books. Um, an anime that we're kind of focusing right now is The Little Witch Academy. Academia? I think so. Mm, don't know what's the difference but still uh, we're doing that it seems to be a rockly <laughs> um, a really fun show can't wait to check out episode 3 and see how that works I've been hearing a lot from you guys that say that check the background because there's a lot of easter eggs and um, even one of you guys mentioned that 19, 90% of Little Witch is full of easter eggs so yeah keep an eye out with that so yay can't wait to watch <coughs> so anywho um, if you would like to support the show you can do so at patreon.com slash mbs show with every support you'll get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast exclusive and deleted content and a huge thank you from me yes talking about thank yous I'd like to thank Amy Lucky Knight myself like Tristan and also Jeffrey thank you so much guys you are great so anyway I have been Norman Sanzo and I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya!